Oh my God. I can see a body just sitting right in the middle of the street there. And people are trying to figure out the best way to get around it. Across the street, this family rushes into a truck, shielding their little one's eyes. An effort to preserve what innocence is left here in Haiti. The gruesome sight, slowing but not stopping the morning rush hour. And you can even see here, look at this, a police car is just going right past and it'll continue on. It doesn't even stop. A neighbor explains how an overnight gang attack ended in vigilante killings. Oh, this is gunfire, yeah. shooting here. This man says he and more than 50 others immediately set out to find those terrorizing their neighborhood. They surrounded a man they didn't recognize. And you believe he was a gang member? Carrying machetes, he tells me, they carried out justice, as he sees it, the only way they know to defend themselves. When they come in shooting all around, trying to scare us to flee, we won't just let them kill us. They have to die, he tells me. The way you see this is kill or be killed. Oui, 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 oui. Police don't condone the killings, but they are overwhelmed and overrun, and they don't have time to stop them. There are daily gun battles in the capital as police struggle to push the gangs back. The officers have willpower, but little else. We see that firsthand as we patrol with Haiti's National Police. There are no front lines in this war. The boundaries are blurred and they're constantly shifting. And these officers know driving around in an armored vehicle like this, well, they expect to be shot at. They're moving targets. They cruise through gang territory, revealing a city in ruins and on fire. At this intersection, we find another gruesome scene. Three bodies half eaten by dogs and still smoldering. People desperate for food and for shelter, even if it is in the shell of what was once a government building. I mean, this is just a symbol of state collapse here. More than 1,500 have now occupied this building and made it their home. Mostly children from what we see. And there are those who line up for hours trying to get visas to go anywhere but here. And not only there's no security, but there's no jobs, you know. And not only there's no jobs, they're running after us wherever we are. The gangs are now targeting more affluent areas. What's left of an ATM is still in there. They're trying to, uh, to show themselves as uh, Robin Hoods or stuff, but they're just thieves. They're just thieves, they're criminals. For street vendors like this woman, who still have fruits to sell, no customers to buy them because folks can't afford most of these items. More troubling for her, the horrors she witnesses on these streets. Many people have died, she tells me, and they have to make trips to pick them up. We see that for ourselves as we head back just before curfew. Medics clearing the remains of that suspected gang member. They hurry not to save a life, but to pick up two more bodies on this same street. Here in Haiti, humanity has disintegrated into a brutal fight for survival. Late Thursday, a Haitian security source confirming to us that police killed a gang leader in an operation that played out in the downtown area, that same area in which we were embedded with police. Police also, according to the source, killed several gang members. However, for officers, it's always a question as to how long they can hold the line. David Culver, CNN, Port-au-Prince, Haiti.